the most delicious shrimp with vegetables than meat, I learned from a five-star oriental restaurant. We will start this recipe by cutting half a broccoli and half a cauliflower into pieces, you can separate them into little trees, it doesn't matter if they are not the same size. Once cut, we will add them to a pot with a teaspoon of salt. And then we will add enough hot water to cover them completely. We will cover and cook for approximately 5 minutes, or until they are soft. Meanwhile, in a bowl, we will add 200 grams of shrimp previously washed. Leave me in the comments if you are a shrimp lover. Season with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. If you wish, you can add a little more or a little less according to your taste. Then, we will finally chop 5 cloves of garlic as small as we can. And we will add to the shrimp 1 teaspoon of chopped garlic, and reserve the rest for later. Now, we will include a teaspoon of paprika to give it more flavor, and a teaspoon of cornstarch or cornstarch to give it more texture. We will mix everything very well until all the ingredients are fully integrated and reserved for a few minutes. Then, we take half a purple onion and cut it into pieces, don't worry if they are not the same size, that won't influence how delicious this recipe will be. Also, we will cut a quarter of green pepper and a quarter of yellow pepper into julienne strips to give color to our recipe and reserve them for a few minutes. Afterwards, we will preheat a pan with a drizzle of vegetable oil. You can also use olive oil if you prefer. And while it heats up, we will finally chop enough ginger to fill a teaspoon. Just like that.
Now, when the pan is already hot, we add the seasoned shrimp that we had reserved. And with the help of kitchen tongs, we will spread them all over the pan so that they cook well. We will let them cook over medium-low heat for approximately 5 minutes. After 5 minutes have passed, with the same tongs, we will turn the shrimp over to brown on the other side. And once they are browned, we remove them from the heat and reserve for later. Now, in the same pan, we are going to sauté the rest of the garlic that we had reserved. And we will include the teaspoon of ginger that we previously cut, and mix everything very well with the help of a silicone spatula. Then we add the onion and green and yellow pepper that we had cut and mix again to sauté them. Afterwards, we also incorporate 50 grams of green beans or green beans. Leave me in the comments how they call beans in your country. And finally, we will add the broccoli and cauliflower that we initially cooked. And mix everything again so that they integrate well. We will saute for a few minutes over low heat. Meanwhile, in a bowl, incorporate 50 milliliters of oyster sauce with a tablespoon of soy sauce. This will be the perfect complement to our recipe. Season with a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. And also include a tablespoon of cornstarch to give it thickness and a tablespoon of sugar. In addition, we will add 100 milliliters of water and mix with the help of a manual whisk until it becomes homogeneous mixture. Now we add the sauce to the stir-fry and mix so that it penetrates all vegetables. Also, we will incorporate the shrimp that we had reserved, mix again, and let cook for about 3 minutes. And now you will have a different, healthy and delicious meal, worthy of a 5-star restaurant. Remember that if you liked this recipe, do not forget to subscribe to our Facebook page, where I share easy and delicious recipes every day. And do not forget to tell me from 1 to 10 how much you like this recipe. Smiling face with smiling eyes.